Hey my beauties, it's Miss Unique Beauty in the building and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to give you guys my first impression thoughts on the new Selena Gomez makeup line that just launched the other day. I went to Sephora and I picked up just a few items that I think would work best for me and we're just going to try them out and see what happens. Now I'm going to just show you guys what the packaging looks like for each of these items. This one right here is the primer slash setting spray. You can double it and use it as both or you can just use it either as just a primer or either as just a setting spray. Whatever you choose. Now this next product is the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation and I have it in the shade 450N. Now, I used the Sephora app to find out what my exact shade would be in this line because I wasn't exactly sure. And I didn't really want to ask anybody in the store because, you know, with this pandemic going on, you don't really want anybody close to you. So I just kind of figured it out myself. Now, this next product that I got is the Positive Light Luminizing Highlighter, and I got it in the shade Flaunt. Now, y'all know how much I love my highlighters, so I really hope that this highlighter lives up to my expectations. Now this product is the Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer and it's supposed to have like a shimmery effect to it to give your skin like a nice glow. The next item I have is the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer and I have it in the shade 410N. Now you're really supposed to get the same shade concealer as you do in your foundation but the reason why I went up a few steps is because I wanted my under eyes to be a little brighter. The next item I picked up is the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner and I have it in the color black. I guess in the future they might come out with more colors but for now the only color that they do have is the color black. The next item I picked up is the Brow Harmony Pencil and Gel and I picked it up in the shade Deep Brown. I believe there's a total of 8 shades so I'm pretty sure that you guys will be able to find the perfect shade for you. So the next two items that I picked up are the Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush in Love and in Faith. Now the reason why I picked up two different shades is because I want to use Faith, which is the darker of the two, as a contour. And I didn't want to go in with concealer as a contour because I like the idea that the blush actually dries down matte. Now these last two items that I picked up are the Lip Souffle Matte Cream Lipsticks. And I have it in the shade Motivate, which is a pink shade. And I have it in the shade Strengthen, which is more of like a dark purple. Now let's get these items out their boxes and let's get right into my first impressions. The first item that I'm going to take is the illuminating primer and I'm just going to pump some on my hand and then dot it onto my face. Now I'm just going to smooth it around my face and just work it into my skin. As you guys can see that this primer does give my face a little bit of a glow and I kind of really like it. Now I'm also going to double up and take this Prime and Setting Mist and also spray this on my face as well. I just really wanted to see how both of these would react together. I actually felt really refreshed after spraying this on my face. Now I'm just going to take the Brown Harmony Pencil and Gel and I'm just going to use the pencil part to outline my eyebrows and then I'm going to use it to fill them in. 
first I'm going to use my spoolie brush just to brush my hairs upwards and then I'm gonna go in and shape my brows now I will say that this brow pencil is very pigmented and it will definitely give you the color payoff that you are looking for when you're using your brow products this pencil actually glides really smoothly onto your skin and I love using pencils I am a firm pencil user so I actually really love this brow product I think this brow pencil is actually in competition with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil y'all better not sleep on it now I'm gonna go in with my spoolie brush and just use it to blend out the beginning of my eyebrows just like I always do the next thing I'm going to take is the Liquid Touch Concealer in the shade 410N and I'm just going to use this to outline my eyebrows. The consistency of this concealer is typically not the consistency that I normally use when I'm outlining my eyebrows. I kind of like more of a thicker consistency because I feel like I'm able to precisely line my eyebrows the way that I want. Now after actually using this concealer to outline my eyebrows, it didn't actually come out too bad and I kind of liked it, but I probably won't do this again in the future because like I said, it's just not my type of consistency to use when I'm outlining my eyebrows. Normally, I would go in with a darker shade of concealer that blends more with my skin, but I forgot to pick one up, so I'm just going to use the same exact shade that I use on the bottom, on the top, and just blend it more at the end. Now I'm just going to take my small fluffy brush and just blend out the concealer under my eyes and the concealer above my eyes and I'm just gonna blend it smoothly until it just looks like it's blending right into my skin I just want to say that this concealer is actually doing a great job at blending out like it's not really giving me a hard time and I don't really have to work too hard to blend like it's just doing what it needs to do I kind of like it the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation that I picked up is in the shade 450N. And before you apply this to your face, you want to make sure that you shake this up really, really well. It just seems that the oil in the foundation separates for some reason and it just causes a mess. Literally, this foundation is a liquidy mess. I'm already really not feeling this foundation because of how thin and liquidy it is but we just gonna give it a try and see what happens now what I did was I used the doe foot applicator and just made lines all over my face and just began to apply the foundation everywhere now the reason why I used so much is because I felt like this the consistency was so thin and that I just needed to pack it on my face now I decided to use a damp beauty blender instead of a brush because with liquid foundations as liquidy as this one when you use a brush it's going to leave streaks on your face so I decided to go in with a damp beauty blender just to blend it out just to see what kind of a finish I'll get. Now I ended up going in with a second layer of foundation because I felt like it wasn't giving me the coverage that I needed slash wanted. I still was seeing a lot of my dark spots around the center of my face. So I just decided to go in with a second layer of foundation and I think it worked out a little bit better for me the second time around. Now by the look of how much foundation you guys see me apply to my face, you might think that it looks and feels heavy. But it actually doesn't even feel like I have anything on my face. This foundation is actually very, very, very light on your skin. Considering that I actually used the Sephora app to find out exactly what shade I would be in this foundation, I think that this shade actually looks pretty decent on me. I don't think it looks too bad. Now I'm going to go back in with that concealer shade in the number 410N and I'm just going to use this to highlight under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow above my lip, my chin, and my forehead. I will say that I do love the consistency of this concealer when I'm using it to highlight underneath my eyes and the other areas of my face. Now I'm just going to use the same beauty blender that I was using before, but I'm just going to use the other side of it to blend out the concealer on my face. 
As you guys can see, this concealer is doing such a great job with blending very smoothly onto my skin. Like I said before, I really don't have to work that hard in order to blend this concealer in. It just really works perfect. Now these next items I'm going to be going in with is the Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blushes. Now the first one I'm going to be using is the color Faith, which is a dark purple. And I'm going to kind of use this as a contour. I'm going to take the doe foot applicator and just dot a little bit on my cheek and then use my finger to blend it in. I realized I wanted it to be a little bit more intense so I decided to apply a little bit more and then use my finger to blend that out as well. Now these blushes are definitely matte. They dry really 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 fast so you have to make sure that you're blending very quickly and you're moving really fast because they dry really 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 fast. I do like that I can continue to layer this until I can get the intensity that I like without it caking up and looking spotty or splotchy on my skin. I decided that I needed to go in with my beauty blender just to blend out the edges of the blush just a little bit more. Now I'm just going to go in with the same blush and use it to contour the other side of my cheek. Now this time I decided to go in with a little bit more product which was a bad idea because this side came out way more intense than the other side but anyhow I was still able to make it work I'm just going to use my finger to continue to blend that blush into my skin and then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender just to blend it out a little bit more Then I decided to come up with this brave idea to use the same blush shade to contour my nose. I was so afraid that I was going to mess it up that I decided to just go in with one little tiny dot and that one little tiny dot worked out perfect. Any more would have probably made it way too intense so this worked out so perfect. I just continued to use my finger to blend that blush shade in onto the sides of my nose. Now I'm just going to go in with that next blush shade in the shade Love and I'm just going to use this on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm going to go in with my finger once again and blend that out as well. I rarely ever will gravitate towards using a liquid blush but I do love the fact that this blush does dry down matte and it's very easy to blend into your skin. Now this next product is the Positive Light Luminizing Highlighter and I have it in the shade Flaunt. Now I really have a high expectation for highlighters because I love highlighters. Now to test the intensity of the highlighter I'm just going to put one little dot on each part of my face that I want to highlight first, blend that out and then see what I want to do after that. Now I'm just going to take a clean damp beauty blender and I'm just going to use this to blend the highlighter out into my skin. Now at this point I realize that this highlighter dries very fast. So by me putting it on the different areas of my face by the time I reached to the different spots that I needed to blend the highlighter had already dried and it left a really shiny cast onto my face. So what I decided to do was to work one side at a time, blend out each side, and then go and blend out the next section after that. This is what the highlighter is looking like once it's all blended out into my skin. Now the next product I'm going to be using is the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner in the color black. Before I start to use the eyeliner, I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend out the concealer on my eyelids because it looked like it began to start creasing. I decided to not go in with any setting powder on my face due to the fact that this line does not carry any setting powders so I didn't want to cross brands just so I can give my honest opinion. Now I'm just going to begin winging out my eyes. I love how black this eyeliner is and I also love the thickness of the felt tip on this eyeliner. I 
I'm really feeling how bold my eyes look because of the thickness of this felt tip liner. Now I'm just going to continue to line my next eye. I'm going to apply my mascara and my eyelashes off camera and then I'll be right back. Now I'm going to take the brow gel and I'm just going to use this to brush the hairs into place and to define any hairs that I want it to be defined in my eyebrows. Now I'm going to use the Lip Souffle Matte Cream Lipstick in the shade Strengthen and I'm going to use this as a lip liner on my lips before I apply that light pink shade. Today I was going for more of an ombre look so that's why I decided to do it this way. Now, although this product is called a Lip Souffle Matte Cream Lipstick, this product is definitely moisturizing on the lips. This product does give you that matte look, but not a matte finish to me. At least this is my opinion. This is what Strengthen is looking like on its own. This shade is not bad on my skin tone. I could wear it by itself as well. Now I'm going to be going in with the shade Motivate and I'm just going to focus this on the center of my lips just so I can get that ombre effect that I really wanted today. I will say that layering these lip products did not cause it to have that cakey look. It still felt really nice on the lips even after I layered them together. The last product that I'll be using is the Setting Mist. The products that I liked using the most were the Primer, the Setting Spray, the Brow Pencil and Gel Duo, the Eyeliner, and I would have to say the Matte Lip Souffles were actually good as well. The other products were okay, they just weren't something that I would actually be including into my everyday makeup routine. This is my first impressions on the Rare Beauty Makeup Collection by Selena Gomez. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below any questions that you may have. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye my beauties!